In this video, let's take a look at uh, Millwork CAD and how easy it is to create a, uh, a part. We'll click on the Parts tab. We'll click on Straight and pull this down in the screen so you can see it. Here's our uh, panel size. I want to create an upper end panel. I'm going to tell it to insert that into the main drawing. As you can see, there's the size of our panel. All dimension for you. Now we're going to open up the tools. And then from here, I'm going to select uh, the router tool, select the uh, side of the uh, panel, and I'm going to add a back dado. I'm just going to preview that and add that so we have our dado added to the uh, panel. Now I also want to add some line bores to this panel, so I'm going to go over to the uh, drill tool, select the drill. We're going to add the uh, drill holes, just preview them and add them. So that, qu that quickly we have a upper end panel created to our specifications. So what I want to do now is uh, export that, the DXF file. I'm going to come in and give it a name. We'll give it a quantity and we're going to tell it not to, uh, to nest yet. I want to nest something else with this in just a second. I'm going to save this into today's work. And I'll modify the name to uh, shop uh, left because it's like a left panel. And just select save. Okay, so once that's done, I don't want to go through all the trouble of redrawing this entire panel. So I'm just going to open up the toolbar. I'm going to uh, select the uh, mirror function from the toolbar. Let me pull this down so you can see the options. And I'm just going to tell it to basically select everything in the drawing and I want it to delete the original one from me. So I'm just going to click OK. So now I have a right panel created, which was simple enough. So now let's just DXF that out. Let's uh, put the, uh, a new name in there. We'll call it like Shop Right Panel or something along those lines. I'm going to come down and just uh, give it a part name. And we're going to give this a quantity as well. Uh, this time I'm going to select, I want it to nest the parts because I want to go ahead and nest this part along with the other part. Uh, save it. Our nesting options open. So there's our right panels. Now we want to add the left panels to this. So I'm going to select uh, import from the options here. Uh, go back up to our desktop in today's work. And there's our uh, left panel. So we're going to say OK to that. We're going to add those to the right panel. So now I'm just going to go ahead and tell it to nest it. It's going to nest all those. So we have our left and right panels done. So for there's basically 20 panels done in just a few minutes. I'm going to create the code for that. And press display code. And you can actually see all the parts labeled with the g-code created and the actual g-code is being displayed over here on the left hand side for you. So it's that simple and easy to create g-code and parts inside Millwork CAD. Thank you for your time and thanks for watching this video and hopefully we'll be able to do business with you soon. Thank you.